Hi everyone, this tutorial will show you how to use GarageBand to record yourself singing using tracks from iTunes or other MP3. So to start, you're going to want to open up GarageBand. And depending on what you have up, you're wanna, gonna want to open a new track. I usually use either piano, but more often voice, since you're going to be singing. You can save it as my track, whatever it is you wanna call it. So when it initially sets up, it'll have two tracks here, male basic, female basic. And you can go ahead and delete one of those since most of us aren't both genders, although if you are both genders, you can leave them both open and choose according to your mood. So we do need to import the track that we're going to sing along with. So down here in the corner, there are three icons, and you want to click this one on the farthest right. This will upload your iTunes music. So I know that I'm going to want to use a track I've uploaded earlier called Poor Unfortunate Souls. And this interface it works the same way as iTunes. You can click it to organize by artist, by name, and you can also highlight something and click to try to find it. So here's my track, and all you need to do is drag over, and it'll create the track for you. Next, you're going to want to set up for recording vocals. So click here on the female basic track, and you're going to want to go to the I. So this right here controls the recording level, how hot the mic is, so to speak. Way up here means the mic is going to be very strong, pick up a lot. Down here, not quite as much. And this will take a little bit of experimentation to figure out what would be best. Up here at the top, if you go to Edit, this is where you can control noise gate and master reverb. The reverb is automatically set up to have a little bit of reverb there, but usually it's a little bit too much. So I usually move it down to about 6%, but this can be adjusted afterwards. Next thing you want to do is put on headphones so that you don't have too much feedback. Make sure that the female basic is highlighted and click record. It'll play the audio and you can sing along. When you're done recording, simply press the record button again or the play button. When this is done, you can go back and adjust volume according to the track or your voice. You can adjust reverb right here. You can enjoy, adjust the master echo. You can adjust the bass. Um, the compressor can be manual or you can make it sound like something is a little bit different. And most of this comes just by experimentation. When you're done and you want to export the track to iTunes again, then you come up here above to Share in the menu and click Send Song to iTunes. It'll open this box up, and if there isn't a playlist already existing, it'll create one for you. You can change any of this information if you'd like, and then press Share. Then it will convert, create a mix down. I wonder what that means. All I know is that it does it. Then you can convert the GarageBand file into an MP3 or MP4, depending on what program you're using. In iTunes, I believe it becomes an MP4. So we'll go ahead and let that convert. And when it's done converting, It'll show It'll up here in your iTunes. And, you can sing and that is how you can be a studio artist in your own living room. So good luck to you. Please remember to obey copyright laws. And good luck in your recording.